Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial. This one's going to be on a donut bun, so if you like it, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so what you shall need for this tutorial is a comb, a donut bun, a hairband, and some hair clips. Okay, so a lot of people say that you can use an actual sock to roll it down and then use that as the donut bun. But I would highly suggest that you actually go out and get a donut bun because it's a lot easier when you're sticking the pins in to secure the actual bun on top of your head. Alright, so first things first, you need to uh, thoroughly comb your hair like so. Okay, so the next stage is to make sure there's no kinks at the back and no loose flyaways and stuff like that. So what I like to do is flip my head completely upside down and start combing that way. Okay, so you need to decide how high you want your actual bun to be. I like to put mine right at the crown of my head and get to your hairband and fasten it nice and tight. The tighter the better so that you know throughout the day it's not going to loosen up and become all ugly and stuff. So keep it nice and tight and smooth. Once you've decided how high you want the bun, go ahead and just fasten it. Make sure it's tight but not too tight so that's going to give you a headache because trust me that's going to get on your nerves most throughout the whole day. Okay, so once the hair is secure and tight, you need to go ahead and take your donuts and place it right over the ponytail like so. So next is the magic. This part is the whole fanning of the hair. So you have to fan the hair over the donut bun so that you can't actually see the donut. You're supposed to have a donut bun that's the same kind of colour as your hair but my hair is black now but it was brown before when I first bought it so it matched then so I should go and get a dark one now but yeah that's my tip for you guys right so once you're happy with the fanning and everything is completely covered I like to just give my hair a little feel to make sure I know how much is needed on what side to cover more of the donut and then I'll start pinning it So what it is, it's like a tucking and pinning motion. So we're going to tuck the hair sort of under the bun and then take the pin and slot it through into the holes of the donut bun. This is why I said it's probably better for you to get an actual donut bun rather than using the sock. There's no problem with the sock, it's just easier on you and also a lot more secure. the last bits if you have long hair like me then the ends are going to give you some trouble but not to fear just keep tucking it round it's not going to bulk up or build layers you sort of just tuck it through and under and then just pin that like you would normally all right another piece of advice i would give you is do not over pin we want it to be secure yes we don't want to put so many pins in that it's going to irritate us throughout the day so that's my piece of advice for you guys just be careful how many pins you're putting in and that's about it this is the finished look right here you should have a nice neat bun it doesn't take too long and just make sure the back and everything's neat like this and you'll have yourself a very classy looking bun so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed i have a lot more videos coming up for you so please like and subscribe for more hope your buns came out nice leave me a comment let me know how it went Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye!